welcome to my digital art exhibition. This is part of my art journey. Um, I made this art book a few weeks ago. Um, I made two of them, but this is the first one. And um, yeah, it includes my finished artworks from 2013 to 2018, and then the next one will be 2018 until most recently, like 2024. I'm so excited today! Before we start, I wanted to put a little trigger warning here because I tend to use art as a vent for my emotions and um, as some of you know, I've been going through a lot. I've been struggling with self-harm and um, life-ending thoughts, so there might be depictions of blood and self-harm in these drawings. All right, then, <laughs> let's go. Um, as I said in a previous video, I've been drawing a lot of self-portraits. I feel like it's because I also just like to express myself a lot through art and that's why so many of my drawings look like me. Sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's not. This one is from 2013 as I said and I really love the hair. <laughs> I enjoyed this so much. Here we have two more self-portraits. I think I worked with references and with charcoal, which I mentioned before that I don't really enjoy working with. I've been working a lot with graphite and then I think around 2013 I also started trying out um, colored pencils because I found this illustrator on Instagram, her name was Color Me Creative, I guess. And yeah, if you know her style, you can see that <laughs> I was kind of trying to imitate her. But I learned a lot through that, like being inspired by artists and trying to kind of integrate their style into mine. It also helped me to find my own style, I guess. Then again, we have some anime manga characters. I was so proud of this one. I still really like the colors of it. Here I was trying out um, this watercolor paper. This is 2014. Just randomly playing around. These were stencil artworks um, I did with spray cans. This one was a project we had in school. Um, and this one I just made at home because I really liked the technique. was also a project in school, like an art class, I don't remember. I think it was about shapes and contrasts. And um, yeah, I was really into drawing crystals. Or, I mean, this is rather like a jewel, maybe. Um, also inspired by some artists I found on YouTube, I think. Um, his name was... Marcello Barenghi, but I'm not sure. <laughs> also, I'm not sure if I pronounced this right, but yeah, I'm gonna um, look it up again. 
And also this one I really really liked. <laughs> like the nose is so off and also um, the mouth is a bit too far to the left. And I was just too scared to mess it up with uh, eyelashes so I <laughs> just left them out. <laughs> Yeah, again, the hair, Oof. I enjoyed this so much. Here we have another minion. As I told you, I was like really into minions <laughs> when the first um, Despicable Me movie came out. Now in 2015, this is Chibiusa and Chibi Chibi from the Sailor Moon series. Yeah, I really love Sailor Moon. I think I first saw it, like, I was just watching TV and um, it was broadcasted on Viva and I saw the last episodes <laughs> and uh, it was like so aesthetically pleasing to me and so beautiful I started crying and then I just fell in love with it and I wanted to like watch it from the beginning and I was so grateful that uh, Viva broadcasted the show back then this one is um, still from 2013 but I felt like it kind of matches this one um, this is also a tutorial by Mark Crilly that I followed, so yeah, that's why it looks so good. <laughs> and this is um, Estelle René Roberts, at least that's like the French name in the anime. <laughs> um, I don't know the original character name, but yeah, it's like my favorite character from um, Mew Mew Power, also a series that I watched as a kid in France at my dad's. This was also an art class. We were supposed to draw a self-portrait. And then this one already has like the moon. It's like Sailor Moon inspired, <laughs> obviously. And these are also from the 30 day art challenge that I did. I mentioned it in the last video of my art journey. This was, I think, about favorite toy as a child, favorite animal, um, which now changed to jellyfishes, as you know if you've seen my last video. <laughs> um, this was also from the challenge, I think it was favorite book, and this is like from the book cover slated, um, I just drew um, the cover character and this is Brian H. Whittaker I don't remember, I think it was also part of the challenge but I don't remember which prompt here we have Luna Daco, the German YouTuber also part of the challenge, I think I did this through August 2015 I was working with Prismacolor back then, by the way. This looks so good. <laughs> but again, I like started to draw the eyebrow and then I was like, mm, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> so it stopped. <laughs> Still at the art challenge. Um, I think this was something that you miss or someone that you miss. And this is my friend. Marcella, um, and she went for a year abroad that summer, so that's why I drew her for like it's always like it's with watercolor pencils, so it's watercolor and pencil, so it's like a drawing and painting at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> and this was some favorite uh, music artist, or like maybe just a logo. I was really into Florence and the Machine. He 
here are some eyes and an elf character. Still enjoying the hair. <laughs> This is the um, drawing I was talking about in the sketches video that I made like this sketch for and this was on my wall for some time um, so I could like look at it in the morning and be like okay what hairstyle am I gonna go for today yeah some ball pen portraits I think these were references from Pinterest. And now we arrived in 2016. Yeah. I think then I found um, Jacqueline de Leon. Yeah, she's like a really cool artist and I was very inspired by her style. And if you know her style again, you can see that I was inspired and I was kind of trying out the techniques she used. I really love this one still. Even though there are so many mistakes in here. And this one, I also really love. Again, no eyelashes because I was too afraid. <laughs> yeah, this is also um, like a picture that I took of my own eyes. And then I kind of changed the colors by like with these rhinestones. Yeah, I did a lot of makeup with rhinestones back then. <laughs> and this is um, Emily Bader. I hope I say this right. Also, um, picture I found on Pinterest. Here we have Sailor Moon again, like kind of more realistic um, version. And this one was also on my wall and somehow I get some water damage. I don't know how. Maybe while I was dust cleaning the frame. And also the uh, but it was more violet than blue, but it was exposed too long to the sunshine, so yeah, the colors faded a bit. Some more ball pen drawings. <laughs> it's so funny, like it's mostly portraits and eyes, because that's like thing <laughs> to draw, I guess. Another self-portrait. I did all of these, there will be more in one day and I had like such a good run and oof, I really love these. They're kind of like character designs. <laughs> that one says stay natural. Yeah, this is like very Jacqueline de Leon style. Some galaxy attempts. And now we're getting into the characters. I still like, I really like this one. But these are my favorite. Yeah. Petite Française. And this one. I really love this one. Sometimes I look back at drawings and I'm like, how did I even do that? Chronologically, some of the ones I made after this are not even that good and I'm like, <laughs> my skills are like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> But yeah, that was a really nice day. It was in such a good creative flow. This one is inspired again by Estelle René Roberts from Uni Power. And this is Kiki, also from Uni Power. Um, and there's like this one episode, maybe it's like the episode she's introduced, where she's called um, Kiki la Magnifique because she's doing like uh, tricks on the street, like magic tricks and stuff. And that's like her 
magician artist name. <laughs> I also really love these two still. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, I tried to spray this, like to fix it, but I left some sprinkles that you can still see. These are more sketches, but I just really like them, so I wanted to put them in here instead of the sketchbook. I think that one was supposed to be Michelle from Skins. And this one, again, looks a bit Sailor Wind inspired. And the other sub portrait. kind of ashamed for drawing so many self portraits but actually as I explained earlier it's just kind of it's maybe it's like talking about myself because I think very visually um, I made these with those um, Indian ink fine liners Still in 2016. I think I've been drawing a lot in 2016. I really love this one. I also have like a um, colored one of this. I think even it's still in this book. We'll see. This was something I did in therapy. Um, she did like a little dream journey with me where I was supposed to travel inside myself and find my inner landscape and um, yeah that was part of it um, kind of like a safe space and then my therapist after that kind of destroyed that for me because she always forced me to go to, to that place during the sessions and I didn't feel comfortable with her so the place is kind of destroyed for me now. It doesn't feel safe anymore. And this is also, this is Monan, which means my soul. Oh, here we have the self-harm wounds and scars. getting into more spiritual <laughs> um, motifs. Again, the hair. So much fun. This is what I meant. I'm like, have you seen the ones before? And then this is like such a downgrade. <laughs> this is just a copy. I gave this to someone. Now we're getting a bit deeper into the galaxy face. Mm, I think we're in 2017 now. Yeah. <laughs> um, this was my version of, I think it's called Ophelia or Ophelie, like this corpse in the um in the lake here we have a mermaid i was really debating if i should put this in here or not because i don't really like it but it kind of fit to that one and um, i didn't want to throw this away so but i'm not super satisfied with it these two were posters that I created for um, dance and theater shows at my school. I was in an improv drama club and also like in the dance club. I think this one was 2017 and this one was 2018. Are we still in 2000? 
17. This is also just a copy and gave this to someone for their birthday. And then this one was the first picture I uploaded in the summer of 2017 on my Instagram. And um, this is again uh, Luna Daco. There will be a bit more, <laughs> like a few more portraits of her in here. And also in the next book, because she was a huge inspiration. Um, and I posted this and um, this girl, Mia, <laughs> um, shared this in her story and gave me a shout out. And because of her um, shout out, I just got a hundred followers in like a few hours. And that's why I <laughs> also made this uh, portrait of her to thank her. Because of that shout out, I met so many people that I'm still in touch with today. I'm not in touch with Mia anymore, but um, I'm still super grateful. Yeah, that's like my mentally ill side and kind of the <laughs> masking um, part of me. Being mentally ill wasn't my whole being, so of course there's still the slight side, but yeah. I was masking a lot back then. These two I also still really love, especially this one, except the flowers. These are okay, but I don't know. Um, I also have like a video, like a speed drawing video of this and that one. Oof. Yeah, I really love this. You can see like a lot of glitter, a lot of galaxy related um, things, stars. <laughs> Another self-portrait. And this, I posted this on Instagram and then someone said it looks like He-Man and I didn't even know what that is. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I deleted it again. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna have to say this again. I really enjoyed working on the hair. Because I shared this drawing of Mia, other people wanted to be drawn as well. So I have, I think her name is Lou. And then Mia Lee, um, she was my best friend for some time until she ghosted me uh, in 2020. I don't know. Um, yeah. There will also be a few more <laughs> drawings of her. And I'm so glad that I don't give away my originals because I don't know what, what would have happened to them if I would have given them to her. Yeah, I feel very attached to my art. I also have a speed drawing for this one. Yeah, so I really like this. I kind of miss just, you know, starting a painting and just getting into this flow. This happens so rarely to me anymore ever since I um, got rejected from art school and then also being in art school like communication design studies <sighs> yeah I really miss that just letting it flow out effortlessly I wish I could do this again We have Mel also, just a um, follower who wanted to be drawn and I actually met her, like we were on a fan meetup from Call Me Charisma in January 2020. Um, yeah, that was such a coincidence. <laughs> and here we have Luna Daco again. I really love the orchid. But again, there's so much glitter on here. Yeah. Some watercolor paintings. I did a redraw of this one in 2021. Um, it's in my bedroom. 
because I love this so much. And this was also on my wall, as you can see, like the paper is really tinted from the sunlight. Yeah, and then I was starting to not feel so good. Feeling very pressured to find something to do with my life because 2017 was the year I graduated and um, I just didn't really know what to do with my life. I started drawing a lot and also making YouTube videos. Um, and I think this was like intuitively what I wanted to do. And right now, searching for my purpose, it's also what I've been getting back at. So sometimes I feel like I should have just stuck with that and continued kind of building a platform. But on the other hand, I really appreciate all the things that I learned through my studies. It's kind of unnecessary to think, oh, I wish I would have done this differently in the past because I can't, so <laughs> yeah. But yes, I was struggling as you can see. I really like these, the crystals. And this is actually the design that I, like one of the designs that were available on my spreadsheet, like just the crystals. I also really love these crystals. Some character designs. Here we have a semi-realistic uh, portrait of Marionette Ditton Cheng from Miraculous. <laughs> And this one is a uh, Yumi from Code Lyoko, this uh, French cartoon that I loved as a kid. Another little self portrait, and this is me and Mieli. <laughs> Here we have a fortune teller and an elf. Put these together because. They are so similar in the colors. But yeah, I'm not so satisfied with this. This one is like a bit too colorful and also <laughs> like the neck. <laughs> Just uh, it's too slim. I drew this one and I it's from live stream remember I did this with my sister like I was drawing my sister was reading the comments <laughs> I really like this also very inspired by Jacqueline de Leon and this is the colored one that I mentioned earlier that I did with um, the Indian ink fineliners And here we have Jacqueline de Leon. And this. Some graphite drawings. This is a Pinterest picture I found. And again, like the mouth is a bit shifted too far to the right. This happens a lot to me and it's not symmetrical like front view then it's always kind of hard for me to find the right position of the mouth here we have emily bader again yeah i really loved her another eye this is my eye i used a reference of my own eye for this Now we're getting to the end of 2017. Oh no, beginning of 2018, yeah. <laughs> um, I drew this because I, I've been friends with this guy and then it turned out that he had a crush on me and this happened to me like all the time. 
um, unless the male friend was gay, they would eventually fall for me and it would always destroy the friendship and I was mad at myself um, that, or just maybe just that life that this kept happening. So yeah, this is me uh, destroying this heart-shaped lollipop. And kind of a self portrait. <laughs> um, except the nose. And I mean, the features are a bit uh, fashionate. Um, like my mouth isn't that big and plump. And also, my eyes aren't that big. So, yeah. Again, I love the roses. And over here, the magnolias. I'm not so satisfied with with the face though, but yeah. I also have the magnolias available as a spreadshirt uh, tote bag print. It's like, I think for a long time, the first smiling portrait <laughs> that I made and looking at this back then, I was like, Ooh, this feels so weird drawing a smiling person. <laughs> I was not doing great. <laughs> but I actually like it. And then this one, it's also just like kind of vomiting out my thoughts and emotions. It's a lot in French. Um, I often switch to French because it feels like a safer language, even though I cannot express myself so well in it, but most people that know me don't speak French. That's also why um, the song lyrics of the songs that I made uh, with Yoon in 2018 are in French, and also because it sounds just very aesthetic to me. So. And I like to reconnect with my roots a bit when it comes to art. These two, oh yeah, still really like them. This is like the sun goddess. And I love the crystals and the eyes. And then this wave hair boy. The show. Still can't believe that I did this, that I made this. Here we have a little alien with a third eye. Oof, yes, third eye. <laughs> that was like one of my favorite things to draw. I think this was from 2015 or 16, and then in 2018, I. Um, kind of decorated it with these tattoos and like the rhinestones and just kind of polished it up and we have some more crystals of course and <laughs> also one of my favorite things <laughs> to draw some character designs the sketches of these two were in the sketchbook um i was like the characters i talked about who are kind of stereotypical <laughs> yeah it's like a more fire related one and then like a water or like pirate sea uh, related character and these are the last two of this book i think this was also something i made in 2016 and then in 2018 i went over it again with those creamy colored pencils and um, you know just wanted to improve it a bit and here we have Mieli again just like a selfie of her that I um, drew and stylized a bit all right <laughs> that was it wow thank you so much for coming to my digital uh, 
uh, art exhibition. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw and also that you will be coming to the next part for the next book um, which hopefully is gonna come up next week <laughs> next 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 thank you so much for watching you will see me next week bye bye